Hello queens and welcome back. It is Queen of Queen She Me and today I just wanted to come on here and do a chat with Queen video. If you guys are not familiar, this is my series where you guys can come and talk about everything and it does not necessarily have to be natural hair related because I already primarily here on my channel feature natural hair. So I just wanted to create this series just to pretty much create a platform where we can just come, conversate, you know, have a conversation down in the comment section down below. You know about whatever topics we decide to discuss today here on my channel so today I actually wanted to talk to you guys about something that I have actually been kind of battling with as of lately and it is self-doubt and I know a lot of people you know a lot of times do not talk about self-doubt but with me I actually do at times experience self-doubt and I mean a lot of times I just simply bring it upon myself that's just being real you guys I mean everyone's human no one is perfect and we all have those moments where we doubt ourselves as to you know if we are capable of doing certain things that we actually either are already doing or actually want to do for myself it's actually just been honestly here with creating content here on my channel and I just wanted to just come to you guys and just pretty much just talk to you about how I feel and how I actually you know push through and get past my actual self-doubt and any kind of fears that I may be actually facing so one of them is me actually just sitting here talking to you guys I mean honestly to sit down and to actually have to sit and talk in front of a camera to a hundred thousands of you guys I mean everywhere you know wherever you're watching me from and to just sit down and just talk you know that's a lot <laughs> you know you are subjecting yourself you know to the world you're putting yourself out there because you're feel because you want to be a part of something and you know you are and you are a part of something as to where you know you want to come on here and share your honest thoughts and opinions you know about certain interests you know and aspects of your life that you feel are interesting and you feel that you can connect with other people you know via the internet so another thing you know as far as like me sitting down and actually filming for you guys is just simply to just sit down and to just do it that's just pretty much the easiest way to just get past that self-doubt or that fear because you know when i sit down here you know you know of course i'm thinking you know am i putting out good content is it something that you can actually apply to your life does it have any value you know does it have any substance you know i don't want to sit on here and to just seem like i'm just rambling and you know i don't want to waste your time i will pick and choose what content i actually put out because if i don't feel like i actually like it then i will not put it out but also too i have to realize that i'm still human that i'm not perfect and that i'm coming on here honestly and authentic you know and just being me you know just sharing you know my experiences and my truth you know as just being me <laughs> what is self-doubt self-doubt is and i'm actually getting the diction i mean this is the actual dictionary definition you guys of self-doubt so what is self-doubt self-doubt is the lack of confidence in oneself and one's ability as i just stated you know previously so what causes actually you know having self-doubt fears why can't i do it or why why do i feel that i cannot do it you know and one is anxiety and i deal with anxiety you guys it is something that you know oh my gosh it's like it's not the worst thing to have you know but it's also something that you can learn that you can control it you know and then really you know it's all in your thought process so that's why i told you guys that i've actually been on the journey you know to self-love you know getting back to know me and to actually who i am as a person before all these different impressions people saying that you should be this you should be that you know it's easy to get caught up you know in the world feeling like you know you're supposed to be all these things when actually you don't have to be so anxiety yes but for me ways that i get through anxiety i'm actually going to share with you guys in a little bit um, another thing that causes self-doubt is of course you have certain fears you know so some people may have a fear of again sitting down public speaking that's a perfect example of you know a fear you know if you're not one that really socialize with people then yes you could have a fear you know of public speaking you know speaking in front of a large group of people some people that can be maybe even three five people some people that can be up to about 20 people in a room so everyone's fears are different you know but we all have to learn how to overcome them and then also past failures you know trials and errors you know things that you may have tried and then they didn't work out you know and then you try to again you know you want to revisit that idea but then you have that fear of the failure before when you tried it initially so 
you know you just have to push through it and just continue to just keep that main focal point as to you know I want to do this because I know I genuinely and truly love what I'm doing I enjoy it and I know that someone else out there can really benefit from what I'm actually trying to put out there into the world so another thing that causes self-doubt is actual hurt you know people letting you down or you know even things that you might let yourself down on you know you might have set certain goals you know or certain deadlines and you didn't reach them and i've been there prime example is for me with like school you know i had a timeline like i was going to be done at this set time i was going to be there for so many years and i was going to be doing this in so many years but life does not go as planned so you just have to learn to just kind of roll with the punches and so with that being said you guys I'm, I'm pretty much one of those people where you know I just roll with the punches I don't really just lie down you know if something happens to me you know I just continue to just pick myself up and just keep going because it's not the end of the world and honestly it's all in your thought process really when it comes to self-doubt because really if you have self-limiting thoughts then that's going to pretty much keep you in a state of where you're just not going to go anywhere you're just going to limit yourself and your thinking and if you're not thinking positive thoughts or positive you know affirmations or if you're not surrounded by positive energy or positive people you know that can even go as far as family friends i mean just people in general um even just the environment that you subject yourself to you know all that comes into play with self-doubt because people will impress themselves upon you and you may not even necessarily be honestly feeling that way but from hanging out around with someone or being in a certain you know genre of people or whatever the case may be it can really affect your own personal life so you know self-doubt it can be a lot of things that can actually cause self-doubt within itself okay so what are some positive ways that you can actually eliminate self-doubt and I know you guys are probably like, oh my gosh, you just rambled all these things. Queen, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. And I'm like, I know you guys, but there are actually positive ways that you can actually conquer self-doubt or fears or just even negative thoughts that you may actually be having. Negative thoughts are a form of self-doubt. So first and foremost, I know one that is my favorite and I know that I have been exposed to my entire life is affirmations. And my mom, she is a big person on affirmations. Growing up, I remember just going to her bedroom, her bathroom, and she would always have these little itty bitty notes with small little positive thoughts, affirmations, just simple things that you, you know, you want to, you know, just keep repeating to yourself, you know, mentally, you know, instilling that within yourself. So that way you can feel it and believe it and know that that is true. Because honestly, we already have everything that we need within ourselves. If only we believe because we already have what we need because God has already placed it within ourselves. So we just need to just, you know, just surround ourselves with positive thoughts, you know, positive words, you know, positive people, you know, positive spoken words, you know, because people who do negative self-talk, you know, that is not good so you know and it's just become a habit for me when people you know or even myself when I say something negative you know um, to just combat that with something positive like quickly you know like I don't forgot um, it was I had an example but recently we was out somewhere and somebody said something and I said don't say that and they was like well I didn't mean it I was like well I know you didn't mean it but just don't say that because you know subconsciously you know you just wind up just continuing to say these certain you know quotes or comments and then you start to actually believe them so I just feel it's very important you have to be very mindful of the words that you are speaking and the words that you are actually taking in because you really do process those words and then you start to actually process them within and then they start to project out into other people another thing that is big is prayer 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 does work you guys um prayer i mean you just pretty much <laughs> my, my mom told me i remember as a kid i just told her i said mom i said what is prayer you know i mean we always you know got down you know pray you know everything like that and because we're about we're about this <laughs> and so she said esther prayer is pretty much nothing where you are just sitting down and having a conversation with god when my mom told me that, I tell you guys, like, when I pray to God, I just pray. You know, I just pray. I just talk to him. You know, I just tell him how I feel. You know, whether it's good, bad, in between, whatever the case may be. Prayer can really help you get through a lot of situations. So, if you're not believing in something, I highly suggest you start believing in something positive. You know, and I prefer, you know, God, the almighty creator. So, you know, um, yeah, prayer will definitely get you through a lot of those self-doubts self and those self-limiting you know thought processes that you already have within yourself if you're wanting to correct those things 
another thing is to eliminate ill energy ill energy i mean it's just like people that you just do not necessarily vibe with and sometimes it's natural sometimes you'll just naturally distance from people in certain situations and sometimes it's good you just don't have to do anything it just naturally happens within itself i know growing up i mean a lot of things happened i didn't un understand a lot of things you know why friendships and relationships didn't work and yada 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 but then looking back now that i'm an actual adult you know not like a, a preteen or whatever a teenager you know you actually start to realize your thought processes that you had back then and the people that you were surrounded with and what you actually expose yourself to so just eliminating yourself from places and things that you may not necessarily need to be around will definitely help you in a lot of situations so i just feel just being mindful of where you are who you're with and what you decide to expose yourself to really does help with how you actually feel as a person because if you want to feel positive and feel happy and vibrant and alive you know and grateful you know you actually have to be mindful of what you're exposing yourself to so i mean if you don't want to feel sad or down and ill or mean or hate or animosity then be mindful of the people and the situations that you're around because if you're around people who are going through those things who are always dumping all that stuff on you and then you're trying to just be there and be supportive you cannot expound all that energy and then they don't give you anything back like that is a deadly relationship so you have to be careful and mindful of that not saying that you don't love them but a lot of times you have to guard yourself and be mindful of what you're putting out there and again who and what you're subjecting yourself to so i just feel that is very important <laughs> another thing is talking you know with a close friend spouse or relative you know a lot of people you know everyone's busy everyone has their lives everyone is trying to do what they need to do to just stay you know in the race pretty much and sometimes we just forget that you know everyone is human Sometimes you need to pick that phone up and I know damn well I'm guilty of this that I will not pick up the phone and call my friends. I mean, it's not that I don't love them, I don't care, but it's just like you just be tired or you're busy or whatever the case may be. But, you know, you honestly make time for what you want to make time for. You know, even with myself, that's why I'm saying I've been on a journey myself. I'm not perfect and I've been realizing Esther, you've been doing a lot of fucked up shit too. So this is a wake up call and you need to get your shit together. You know, pick up that phone, talk with that loved one, talk with that spouse, talk with that friend. I mean, you know, it doesn't have to be an hour or 20 minutes. I mean, sometimes it's just as simple as picking up the phone or sending a message or communicating and just saying, hey, I love you. I'm checking on you, seeing how you're doing, you know, yada, yada, yada. You know, if you have time, we can meet up for lunch or whatever the case may be. Now, you ain't got to do that every goddamn day of the week and stuff like that, you know, because everyone has their own lives. But still, being able to talk with people and to just have that break you know to just get your mind from off of that self chatter and all that talking in your head that will really help you to just keep yourself from having all of those crazy thoughts running around in your head because if you're just you know just thinking those thoughts to yourself then you're just going to continue harboring on them and believing them versus getting out having fresh air going out and doing something fun you know having a good time and enjoying life so that's really a good way of getting rid of self-doubt is to just get out there and to just talk and just have a good time with people you know instead of just having that conversation within your head <laughs> another thing and this is the last one for things that are helping to alleviate self-doubt is yoga and you guys know i have been doing yoga for a while now and you know i sometimes i'm on it i'm on a you know streak where i'm just doing it every day and i mean i can be on it for like weeks and then sometimes you know i'll get lax you know and i'll just do it whenever i feel like it you know but yoga really does help with just giving you that time to just quiet yourself just quiet your mind, you know, have that time with God, you know, you can pray while you're doing yoga, you can say positive affirmations while you're doing yoga, mantra um, are pretty much where you just say an affirmation, you know, positive word, positive thoughts, you know, that you put out there that you know that you want to create, you know, and that you want to vibrate and put out there into the universe. You know, you just have to sometimes just stop, put the phone down. Sometimes you don't need music. Sometimes you do. I changed it up, you guys. And you just really need that moment to just sit down and to just really just give your mind and body that, that chance to just really just stop and relax and just come together as one. Because we're so used to just separating the two that we don't realize that they are actually one. I mean, your mind and body and spirit, they're all three of them are one together. So you have to take care of all of them. 
So and if you don't, then you start having these self-doubt, you know, thoughts, you know, and anxiety and all these other kind of fears that you begin to So have. you guys, just in closing thought, it's pretty much just when it comes to self-doubt and how I feel about it and just pretty much, you know, what it is that I do to conquer self-doubt is, you know, you just have to remember that you are human. You are a person here who is trying to figure their own self out. You know, what is their purpose? You know, you're trying to just be you and just be who you are and just be true to yourself. And sometimes that can be hard in 2017. I mean, believe me, it can be hard. You know, I mean, a lot of people are waking up to that. So, you know, it can cause a lot of self-doubt, you know, fears, you know, and people People can impress those things upon you you know if you may not necessarily already be feeling that way as far as you know getting over self-doubt you know and just pushing on forward you know and seeing you know that there is a positive outlook in the situation and wherever you are right now in your journey you know is that pretty much that reclaiming a calm and centered peace of mind lies already within us I mean we just simply just need to realize that you know and just begin to just love and appreciate that you know that we are here i am here today and i'm trying to do the best that i can you know and that if it does not work out today that's all right i can try another day and you should be trying the next day you know to just do better you know to just pretty much just reclaim your peace reclaim your sanity you know and to just learn that you do not have to do things in this world if you just do not necessarily want to you're not subjected to do anything if you do not want to simple as that you can create your own reality so you know just start thinking you know that you know i can do this i can attain this you know if i want to go on that trip if i want to buy that house you know if i want to go on this whatever and do this and that and the third you can do it you know as long as you're coming from a place of love and you just know that you know that in the end that you know that it's just going to all play out the way it's supposed to it's going to fall just like the pieces made okay Okay, another thought that I have is, you know, life can throw uncertainty at you at times, but that doesn't mean not to move forward. And when I say that, you guys, that means that you do not have to remain stagnant in where you are. But like pretty much you control your train. You control whether you're going to go forward, backwards, or if you're just going to stay right where you are. And for myself, I just want to keep pushing forward. And, you know... Alexa, she really brought that to the forefront for me. You know, she was like, Esther, she's like, no matter what, anything that has happened to you, she said, out of the seven years, because it's going to be seven years for us coming up in November, you guys. And she was like, out of the seven years that we have been together, she was like, no matter what, she was like, if someone may have done something wrong to you, if you've been laid off, fired, someone may have did some kind of injustice to you, she said, no matter what, she said, whether you was working part time, she said, it doesn't matter. She said, you continue to push through. She said, you just keep going. She said, you just, she said, you're just so optimistic. And I have to be. If you don't have an optimistic outlook on things, then nothing's going to transpire the way that you want it to. You have to believe in yourself. Keep pushing forward. Yes, and of course, limiting thoughts leads to self-doubt. And if we begin feeding into these shitty ideas, ideas or opinions, that we will then remain in a life of doubt. So if you just choose to remain in that state and just continue to just have these self-limiting thoughts and you just don't believe in yourself, then that is your fault. That is you holding you back. You know, and a lot of times we have to realize that it's a lot of times just ourselves holding ourselves back. And if we don't recognize that, if we just choose not to recognize it, then that's no one else's fault but our own. I just really wanted to come on here today and share with you guys pretty much how I conquer self-doubt and pretty much self-limiting thoughts, you know, my fears. How do we overcome these things in a world of such vast, you know, situations? It's a lot going on right now and I know a lot of people are really trying to search and find out who and what they really are. You know, people are tired and people are ready for change. And so I just hope you guys enjoyed this chat with Queen video today on self-doubt and overcoming. I hope you guys will leave a comment down below, get a conversation started. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and subscribe down below. Give this video a thumbs up, you guys, and I'll see you guys in my next video, Queens. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Be blessed.